Hi guys and welcome to Angling For You and you join me in the dining room and today we're looking at the HS40 Carry All EVA Pro from MIDI. Now this is something that we have reviewed two years ago so it's a two part kind of kind of thing it's one of what was the durability like and how have I got on with it um, because I, I've used it in a natural venue fishing and absolutely threw it up and down bankings, chugging down rain, super sunny weather. Um, so we'll go into that in a little bit. But this is a little bit of a difference. Now, what MIDI have tried to do is jump into the market like you may have seen my map where you get lots of different uh, containers and things inside um, and it costs you less to get in the bundle because as this one is, is a mega bundle uh, EVA it saves you money in the long run effectively. It, it Everything fits in it, which is obviously why you buy the things, but it allows you to get multiple different things that you could use um, in various different types of fish and we'll go into it for considerably less. Now, as same as the map, um, the pricings were around um, and RRP pricings at around £140, which is, is similar to the map, but at the moment, most places I've seen this is around £70, £79, and so 80 quid, which is pretty decent for what you do get with it, um, and the durability factor, and obviously the waterproof factor. Now, I do apologise that I've not uh, been filming as much, well, at all, uh, really, apart from the, the trolley video. Um, I've been suffering a little bit with a, a very, very bad... Um, sort of trap nerve in my shoulder and it's got progressively worse throughout the year. Um, fingers crossed we're under a specialist and we can get that sorted but I will be trying to get out to do some filming, maybe some predatory stuff um, and hopefully some stuff out in the bank. I might have a midweek session um, to come, we'll see what that goes on because there's a few more things. So this will be part of the 10k giveaway so if you're a Facebook member um, do feel free to, to come across and there will be a 10k giveaway as there was 10,000 members on there um, and they will have access to getting um, a prize one for each thousand of people that are on there. So this is obviously one of those prizes. So let's jump into it. The bundle itself, the, the, the actual luggage set, like I said, this main frame, this bag is something I've had on before. I'll link the, the, the video to that where we test it and um, pour in a full bucket of water on top to show you that there's nothing um, in regards to leakage whatsoever through any of the zips, the top, the material or anything. It's a full ground bait bucket full of water. So the first thing I do like is that it has the Andy Snap um, handle on the top. Again, really durable, made out of sort of like a polymer plastic rubber kind of mixture. Um, a little spider there getting in the action. Let's get you out of there. Um, it's it's just literally sat in my shed until I get this ready to use. So I don't want to take it on the bank. I don't want to get it mucky because like I say, I want to give it to somebody as a prize. Um, so it, this one obviously is not the one I've heavily used, but the, the one I've heavily used, there's no marks on it apart from mud. Um, there's no scrapes, there's no no nothing. Um, and it's like I said, it's had some heavy use. Um, same as the, it's got the hydro seal all the way around. Um, it, it stays completely and utterly together. Nothing's fallen through the bottom. The corners haven't given way. And, and it does that, it is rammed to the top is my, um, is the one I've got actually um, in the shed. So let's open this one up and put a few leaves on there. Ooh. And as always, it does come on with the, the information pack um, that's attached to all the middies. Gives you a little idea of the old range of hydro stuff that they do um, with their hydro seal little badge on there. Um, comes with obviously the big shoulder strap as well if you want to put it over your shoulder. Um, but everybody is interested as to what's inside. So let's move those ones out of the way because they're for another video. And we have got a few different things and we will take them out there, the protective bags and this is how new it is. Um, I'll lay them out first and then we'll have a little go through what's what. And these are how new they are guys, literally. I had a look inside the inside <laughs> but I wanted to make my my sort of opinion when we uh, first 
physically got them out. Put them in the pole socket. That makes it a bet, is it? Wait, where? I would have pole socket. Well, I'll go with that, I would assume. Oh, nice. So it's a little different in first glance to what the map is. The map's more about big cases um, to store feeders and all sorts of stuff like that, which is great. Um, and I enjoyed having it. Don't have it anymore. Um, I found that I just didn't use it that much. So that went. Um, no point in having stuff that I don't use. And that is what is inside. So. As you can see inside it is a huge cavernous space and um, there's, an, there's a dip on the lid as well to give a little bit of added uh, space and these will easily be consumed into here. But what the MIDI of, can, I can see have, have tried to do rather than what MAP have done is create things that you are going to use baits um, and that you will use day to day on, onto your side trays. So for example this one here is a ground bait bucket uh, or mixing bowl pretty nice actually in fact i might pick up one of them for myself oh, nice um th they're great just to have in here and these ones will sit now this one will sit inside of it i wonder if this one sits inside of it yeah that one fits inside of it as well so um you could just have it in here or you could even have your bags of ground bait, a bag of ground bait in what you're going to mix that day. You might not be mixing as much up. You could have your pellets in there after they've been soaked. If you're just going to do a micros day or a four mil soaks day, or even if you, you're doing a venue where you're fishing shallow and you know, you've got a lot of pellets, um, you could fill that up and you're going to get what? Six pints in there. Easy. Five, five to six pints. I would have thought. Um, and it just saves you having to top up. Now, like I said, the access to that is a little bit different than having just storage containers. So for me, the way I look at this is that you would carry this down there. It's got all your bait systems ready to go. So you could carry that down and there's going to be additional space, which we'll have a look at when we've put it all back in. And then you could lift this out. All your baits are now. You could even use it as a bait uh, container, especially if you're in matches and you know it's quite a big uh, bag then you can lift that out and you could do, 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 on your side trays and these are already good good to go and uh, whereas like the map the map one i had um had little individual smaller ones inside a bigger one which you could do i suppose the same thing um but i just found because he, it was there were two stacked on top of each other you'd have to take one out and you have to unzip that then you have to find which one of the you know this one's just a little bit easier everything's together um so obviously there's that ground bait bucket there and and that's got many uses um as are these little ones now uh, same again if you wanted to just go on a light session you could take that out of there and take it with you they're not breathable for maggots but pellets wise corn any sort of bait that doesn't want need to stay alive can go in there and because the the hydro seal you could fill it with water put your casters in there whatever you wanted um so again if you were maybe fishing a venue where you'd got predominantly fours or sixes and you wanted that full of a mixture of eights and tens um if you're bomb fishing or you're giving a step want a standout bait that could just be a mixed box of pellets for example or it could have a couple of it would probably fit four tins of corn three tins of corn in there so you know it's got a multiple use um pellet wetters and bigger tubs now these are nothing new um pellet wetters um uh, it was Preston brought that out I think I'm not, don't shoot me in the comments but Preston brought that out a long long time ago um, and people have been doing the same um, throughout the years um, yes you could get a, a little colander and have that in your thing and do it that way um, but the design is really nice uh, what I find I used to find is sometimes in the Preston ones around the edge that the, the micros used to get stuck a little bit but this this looks like it hasn't got as, as, as deep a edge for that to go into um, and it works exactly as you would imagine a zip top like so load it with your pellets fill your container full of water put your pellets in submerge them shake them off leave them on the side until they've drained that leaves you your pellets tip the water out or use it to make your paste or your ground bait 
and the job's, jobs are good on. Um, and again, it's super durable and super strong. I have got one of these and I have got a taller one of these, which are in my other ones. Um, and I have got the bigger, they do do a bigger one, like um, a, uh, a map do. Um, it's sort of that size. And again, that, that, that fits into there. So I, I have actually got one of those and a, one of those and a taller one of those in my other bag, which I use on the river. It's got loads of different rigs and things in it. And it's, um, the other one's got pellets and standouts and things like that and stuff for rod rests and battle arms and all that kind of stuff. And it's just been superb. So, so, so durable, honestly. Um, and it's just, and, and like I say, the, the river banks are, are quite a corrosive environment. There's a lot of sediment and sand and saltiness that's on them and it's not degraded whatsoever and it's two years and it still looks i mean it's mucky but it still looks just as good and feels just as good quality as what it did before so there is a couple of those um and they're you know they're real substantial size bait up uh, and you could in fact have these to store feeders and stuff if you wanted to do you could put your tubs of different wafters or mini boilies or bandoms or whatever you wanted to put in these you could put in there as well um, so there's a lot of diversity to it. What I'm going to do is just stick these back into here in a, a random configuration. Um, well, in fact, I'm going to put that one back into here, back into this um, with it being able to zip it up. So if you look inside, you can see there's there's plenty of space in there. Uh, it, it's it swallows those two um, with the other one sat the other side of it. I mean, I dare say it wouldn't be a million miles like there, with the lid. In fact, it would shut with the lid on that way as well. So you could have all that stacked in the bottom and all three of those like that and then still have a huge space to put more versions in there. Um, so it is, it is got absolute ton of space and whoever wins it, I know will be very, very happy with it um, because it is a great, is a great product. A um, bit dusty from being in the shed line, but still has everything on it. I'll, tell, I'll leave the packets um, out of it actually for now. So you're only gonna do the same as me. I'll just lift that up and you can see that strap there. So straps are like adjustable um, and there's a, du a durable um, a durable top part to the strap as well um, and obviously that can go across your shoulder. Personally um, it goes on the banner or it has a little clip handle which I do like and there's a few other suppliers that do do that similar handle as well which is um, I feel quite a durable um, and strong way of putting it together because I think sometimes over time we especially got weight in there the velcro does peel off and you tend to lose that grip of that uh, holding together now yes before you all jump at me in the con comments there's lots of different EVA systems out there um, from lots of different companies all doing a similar thing MIDI's part in this is trying to get something affordable where if you are wanting a bundle of stuff um, all together and it's better than buying it independently and that makes sense you might want to buy it on its own and buy the individual bits um, on top of it um, I, I can also understand that uh, they're about um, 50 to 60 quid I think these about 50 quid I want to say um, but then if you piece everything out there at around 15 between 15 and 22 quid you're going to be up to that 140 um, 150 mark and saying 80 quid you, you are getting a really good deal it, especially that's why it's called it called the mega bundle um, so yeah it's worth definitely worth a try if it's something you want to look at for even like I said natural venue fishing it, it, it's it's a strong piece of kit um, but also I do understand that um, EVA is not not for everybody I think it's got its place in the market um, and I certainly think it, it's, it's something that needs to be uh, in the market but equally people um, do like the old-fashioned 
um, and also there, there are those kind of things available and we'll chat about those in, in other videos. But hopefully this has been a little bit of a help um, with that Christmas coming up and those Christmas lists getting formulated either for children or us adults. Um, it might be one to put on your list to have a little look at. Uh, certainly there is a chance of winning it when we uh, start. It's looking like I'm going to do the draw um, start the 10 days from the 1st of, of December. We'll, we'll, we'll just see how we go there and there'll be live streams with, with draws for that. Um, but thank you very much for watching as always. If you want to see any of us other things on the playlist, feel free to jump on the YouTube playlist at Angling For You. Um, if you want to join on uh, the Facebook group and have a chance of winning this and, and, and other things that we've got on there, please go on, um, on the Facebook group at Angling For You. And if you want to see what else we're up to at Angling Underscore For You, um, uh, on Instagram, that'd be superb. If you could like, share and subscribe and join our ever-growing Angling For You family, that'd be fantastic. And until the next one, guys, thank you very much for watching. Tight lines.